And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from the Eagle's Nest tonight here on the campus of Holy Savior Menard, where we are bringing you Menard Eagle baseball tonight our first trip to the diamond here for the eagles one of two that we will do over the next week or so we will be on the softball diamond next week weather permitting that's the asterisk that we'll use in this one but uh welcome everybody i am doug gann with 446 sports bringing you menard eagle baseball what a special night that it is tonight honoring miss debbie bilbo as uh, as they stayed in the pregame there, was diagnosed with, with cancer and begins her treatments. But what a touching uh, opportunity it was prior to the game for the Bilbo family to throw out the first pitch. You saw the softball team all in their pink tops, uh, baseball team that way as well. So if you're noticing a little bit of a difference with the Eagles, that's what you see tonight. Chuck Perkins with us, of course. He is our executive producer and is down with all the camera angles that you will see tonight, trying out a lot of different different things and uh, of course our first start of his career as our, our young intern Jack Yonker don't call him Jonker they do that a lot in the PA games and they get uh, mom and dad get after him on that but they understand it they've heard along um, you remember us call some basketball he's a younger brother of Noah that played over at Ash before signing to go to LSU Shreveport but enough about that we are ready for baseball this the Iowa Iowa Yellow Jackets out from the Iowa area right outside of Lake Charles getting ready for do, to do that. Daniel Hennigan, the head coach for the Jackets on there. Starting lineup for the Jackets tonight, leading off and batting, playing second base is number three, Landon Langley, playing center field. And batting second, number 12, Tyler Dartez. Batting third, playing shortstop, number 13, Lucas Alexander playing first base, batting cleanup, number four, Ross Dennison. You have a number like that you're supposed to bat cleanup, it looks like. Batting fifth, it is number on the mound tonight, Jacob Kershaw. Kershaw, big name for pitchers. We'll see what he's got in him there. Over at third base, batting six, number nine, Colton LeBleu. Batting seventh, playing left field, number 25, Cole Corbello. Batting eighth behind the dish, number 24, Hayden LeBlue, and in right field, number 31, Rusty Lowry. We're going to pause real quick while they do the anthem and the prayer. And the National Anthem getting us ready to go here from the Eagles and S. We'll go over the Menard starters just a moment. You saw the flag as it was going there, blowing. It was straight up from left to right, blowing. The ball has been, it has been swirling. Going over the starters for the Eagles tonight out in left field is Cooper Scott in center field, Jackson Ford, right field, Ashton Brodnax. Out at third base, Jacob Giordano. 
Shortstop Ashton Veed. Second baseman is Cohen LaRue. Over at first is Drake Aldridge. And the battery tonight for your Eagles on the hill. Andrew Prejean behind the dish. Ben Wade designated hitter tonight will be Mike Henry. Mike Henry will be the designated hitter. And we'll get you through the batting order there uh, once the, the Eagles come up in the bottom of the first. But we are ready to get things going here from the Eagles Nest. Again, I am Doug Ginn, 446 Sports. We are bringing you Holy Savior Menard Eagle Baseball in part of our, um, our, our trip around central Louisiana. Here is a blustery, windy night out here at the Eagles Nest. I don't think the Eagles would probably be ducked inside if they were if they were truly up in the nest. But we are trying our first angle from out in center field. Hope you're enjoying the camera angles that you see. Won't have one behind home plate tonight, but uh, a, a bevy of angles for you this evening. Uh, we've done about all the pregame that we can do in this, ready to get things going. A big shout out to our sponsors. So thankful for those guys that are making things possible. Leading off in the top half of the first will be Landon Langley. He is the Iowa second baseman. Getting ready to deal the first delivery. Prejean settles in, ready to go. A tip of the cap and a point in from the official, and we are underway. First delivery from the righty. That's up high, ball one. Langley stands in there, 1-0 count, bats from the right side. Here's the delivery, misses low, two balls and no strikes. Been up on the strike zone and down on the first two pitches has Prejean. See if he can get this one right down the pipe. And at 2-0 count now to Langley. That one misses low as well, and 3-0 to the leadoff hitter goes Prejean. Again, you see the Eagles in the all pink tops. Here's the 3-0 from Prejean. That is in their outer half for strike one. Three one delivery from Prejean and that one is lifted foul back near the batting cages over the fence and into the set of trees that are off to the right hand side. Full count now. Prejean looking to come all the way back against Langley. Here's the payoff pitch. That's up high, misses ball four, and Langley is aboard with a leadoff walk. Iowa comes in 15 and eight on the season out of 3A. They are ranked number eight. A correction, they are ranked number five in 3A. So a great season for this Iowa team, as it always is, off and running. Going to be a bunt. Fielded well there by the catcher and thrown out at first base. So a good job of hopping up by Wade, throwing on over to first. But the sacrifice by Dartez does what it needed to do. And that's got Langley out at second base now. Running scoring position, one down. Seeing that view from uh, as we peer in from the outfield. Here's the delivery, and Langley off and running again. Wade's throw, not in time. And that's going to be a stolen base for Langley. So Langley, the speedy second baseman, aboard on a walk, sacrificed, moved over on the bunt by Dartez. And now Alexander, the shortstop, takes the first pitch, and that gets Langley over to third via the stolen base. Delivery for Prejean misses low. A little JV action before this one. That one just got wrapped up. Some of the younger guys from both of these squads getting to play. Prejean winds and delivers. This one lifted foul over into that same area that the Langley offering was on the first batter. So uh, these batters, when Prejean gets it in the strike zone, are behind it to get zoned in and get settled. Two balls and a strike, one down. Runner over at third is Langley. That bunt is popped up, but it's going to be off of the light pole between home plate and the Eagles dugout. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. No score here early. We are just underway from the Eagles nest. 2-2 Two -two delivery, swing and a miss. And that's the big strikeout 
for Prejean, and that's what we had talked about. Those batters are behind, have been behind Prejean in his first couple of batters. And now Prejean has a chance to get out of this when that brings Ross Dennison, cleanup hitter, to the plate. Langley still over at third. You'd like to strand him there if you're the Eagles. That one gets the inside corner for strike one. Good pitch. And it looks like Prejean has found the command that he wanted after falling behind 3-0 to Langley. Prejean stares in, delivers the 0-1. That one misses low, but a good job by Wade to block that one up because the pass ball with that deep of a backstop has a good chance to score that runner from third. Iowa trying to get an early lead here. Prejean wanting nothing to do with it, delivers the 1-1. That one grounded foul over near third base where Giordano picks it up and he'll get it back in. One ball, two strikes, two down. Langley aboard on a walk, sacrificed over, and then stole third. Prejean trying to erase him here. Has an opportunity to do it as he faces Dennison. The one, two. Misses low, evens the count of two balls and tag him anyway, checking to see if he went and he did not. But a good, good work behind the dish by Wade just to check that out in case because you, you always try to take advantage of uh, maybe there was an out. We'll do the 2-2 two -two here. Prejean from the windup, stares in and delivers. Good off-speed stuff there for the strikeout. Two strikeouts on the inning for Prejean, Iowa in the top half of the first. They strand a runner, no hits. Due up for the Eagles, Ford, LaRue, and Scott. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Eagle Federal Credit Union, located on Camp Beauregard in Pineville, is a full-service credit union. We offer an array of products and services, including checking and savings accounts, auto financing, refinancing, mortgages, and financial literacy and we can help you with all of your financial needs. Visit our website at eaglefederal.org, call the office at 318-641-3017, or come by our local office and meet our staff. Don't forget to ask how we can help you save up to 2% on your auto refinance. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. It's the perfect time of year to grab everything you need for your big-time fishing partner. Security Sporting Goods at 2220 Memorial Drive in Alexandria has everything you can think of from Abu Garcia, Lewis Duckett, Zebco, and even Zoom. We even have in stock Old Town kayaks with models like Topwater, Sportsman, and even Vapor. No need to shop anywhere else because Security Sporting Goods has it all. Find us on Facebook or you can contact us at 318-445-6246. Security Sporting Goods. We have everything from camo to ammo. Leading things off for the Eagles will be center fielder Jackson Ford. Ford comes into the season as the leadoff man for this Eagle team. That first one is in there for strike one. That's going to end up hitting Jackson Ford, so he's going to reach on a hit by pitch. After a big first strike again on the heel, Jacob Kershaw for Iowa. That's going to bring Cohen LaRue, the second baseman, in. Ford leads off. LaRue bats second. Cooper Scott will bat third. Drake Allrage clean things up. Mike Henry, the DH, is batting fifth. Ashton Veed, sixth. Jacob Giordano bats seventh. Andrew Prejean, and that one is just lifted up second. Or pitcher is going to go over and get that one. Brodnax now batting ninth, and that will have Ben Wade. We saw the catcher. Won't hit in this one. Designated Henry, hitter Mike Henry is there. Tried to, to get forward over. Score that one unassisted. Cooper Scott now, the left fielder, will come in. Bat from the right side, ready to go. 
quick move over to first and forward back in time, but a real good move from the Jackets pitcher, Kershaw. Here's the delivery from Kershaw. It misses up high and a ball, no strikes. See the scoreboard down in the bottom. You'll be able to keep up with where the runners are, the outs, the innings throughout this one. The delivery from the stretch, and that's off of the helmet this time. That's going to go up into the head but uh, of Cooper Scott. But he pops up, and I think it, it hits the helmet. The helmet does what it's supposed to do in that particular case. But I'm telling you, that'll ring your bell. There was nowhere for Scott to go as that ball got up in on him in a hurry and still being tended to by the first base coach there for the Eagles. That'll put runners at first and second, and that's gonna be that's gonna bring first baseman Drake Aldridge. Aldridge will come in. Big imposing fella is Aldridge. Aldridge. Currently comes in batting 271, 279 on the season. That was back grounded up the middle. Pitcher will get the only out one to six if you're scoring at home there. So uh, a shot up the middle, good play by the pitcher. And Kershaw has fielded his position well here in the first inning. Aldridge will reach on the fielder's choice and that's gonna bring in designated hitter Mike Henry. Coach from Iowa looks like he's coming in to perhaps see if there was a little interference on the pop-up from the slide out at second base, but uh, that, that conversation was short-lived. Two down here, bottom of the first, no score. Mike Henry looking to get his team with a lead of base hit with plate one. Here's the delivery from Kershaw, swinging a miss. Certainly hear the wind as it is blowing through tonight. None of the wet stuff in the forecast. We're happy for that. Here's the delivery from Kershaw. Curveball over for a strike and quickly Henry down 0 and 2. Henry comes in on the season batting 500 in uh, limited work. Pops this one. That one is going to be out foul near the first base stands. And we'll do the 0-2 once again. Good job of protecting 0-2. Runners at first and third. Kershaw delivers this one. Henry does a good job just getting a hold of it. He's got a chance. Fielded over there out at shortstop. And a great play by Short to come up. That is Alexander who fields on the run, throws out in time. So two runners left on. None reached via the hit. It was two hit by pitches. We are scoreless after one. We'll be back after this. things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria LA. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how... We're back live. Prejean added a couple of strikeouts to his 55 on the season. He's got 57 now. And 
gets that one across for a strike. Jacob Kershaw stands in. He is the pitcher for this Jackets team. That one is delivered and hit into right, heading that way. Camping under it, making a good running catch. Out in right field, that is Ashton Brodnex going over and getting that one. He gets the tip of the cap from his pitcher. Colton LeBlue. Colton LeBlue, the third baseman, stands in. That one also for a strike. So Prejean not around the strike zone to the first batter, and that was it. He settled in, and he has been throwing it right down the pipe each and every time. Prejean back to deliver this one. Swing and a miss. Prejean, seven starts on the season. He's four and two. That one fouled back, nothing into the count to LeBlue. Prejean stares in, takes a little bit extra time now, commanding the mound, and that's what you like to see out of a pitcher. Misses up high with that one, but you want to dictate the pace if you're on the bump. Whether it's fast, whether it's tempo, whether it's slowing down. Prejean, the delivery, this one driven quickly out to left and is going to get past the left fielder and down to the wall. Heading around to second is LeBlue, and he's going to be in there for a stand-up double. But a ball that was just hit hard, and that's tonight's first hit of the game. Saw a walk, a sacrifice, and a couple of hit by pitches, and that is going to get a courtesy runner there for LeBlue, and we'll try to pick up who that young man is. Number 14, that is Colton Grimion. Colton Grimion now out to run at second base. So it's not a courtesy runner because that was in for LeBlue, the third baseman. You expect to see Grimion will come in and run and then re-entering in the bottom half of the second, we expect will be LeBlue Le at third, but we'll keep an eye on that for you. One down, top of the second, we play in a scoreless early, early on ball game here for the Eagles and as Prejean's delivery there, misses low, ball and no strikes. Runner out at second base is Grimion. He's there running for LeBlue. Second time in as many innings that they've had a runner out at second have the Jackets. That one is in there for the strike. He was accounted a ball and a strike. One down, we play top two. Again, we'll be back out on the campus, weather permitting for softball. Menard and Tioga on Monday. Here's the delivery from Prejean. Good looking pitch, misses, misses on the outside. Diving back in is Grimion. Paying a lot of attention to Grimion. We saw Langley, who was the leadoff hitter, runs very well for this Iowa team. You know that they're going to be aggressive. Here's the delivery. That one is grounded past the third baseman and foul. And we'll get the two-strike count once again. We are out in center field tonight is where we are. A little bit of right center, I guess, if you will. We're shading the batter to pull, if you will. Now the delivery to Corbello. This is Cole Corbello, the left fielder. And he has, uh, has fought back, and this one now runs the count full, three and two. Prejean needing to get this strikeout. He delivers. That one is fouled way out right towards that batting cage. Again, if you're familiar with this area. And again, first game that we've had from Menard this year. First time we've had the Yellow Jackets on there. If you're just finding us, we'd love to go up there and hit that like and subscribe button. Follow us. That one fouled straight back. Good looking pitch from Prejean, but equally as effective from Corbello as he uh, just missed that one. Anytime you see that ball go straight back. You know, the timing was there, but just missed it a little. Full count delivery once again from Prejean. He stands, peers in from the stretch, and delivers. That one is ground back up the middle. Going to be handled out at second base. Players there score that one 4-3. 
routine for LaRue fielding that one. And again for the second straight inning in this one, the Jackets have a runner at third with two out. Prejean needing to wiggle his way out of this one. There's the delivery from Prejean in there for strike one. And uh, ever since that first batter, when he got behind to Langley, he has been ahead of every batter that he's faced since then. And that's what led to his defense being able to get things going. That one, a defensive swing, if anything, and fouls it off in the Wade's glove back there behind the dish and nothing and too quickly. We saw a real good off-speed type of curveball from Prejean in the first for a strikeout. Hayden LeBlue is going to step out just a moment. He's down 0-2. Batting out of the 8-hole is LeBlue. That's Hayden. Colton we saw hit earlier. That one up upper half just out of the zone. Wind really blowing out here. It's blowing right to left as I'm looking in. Brought from left field to right field. Prejean looking to get LeBlue to chase. That one doesn't do it. And it's back to two and two on the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner over at third is LeBlue. He reached on the double earlier. Here's a delivery. Swung out to third. Where it's handled, that's going to do it for the Jackets. In the top of the second, they pick up the, run, the game's first run. That runner gets stranded over at third base through an inning and a half. We remain scoreless back after this. Eagle Federal Credit Union, located on Camp Beauregard in Pineville, is a full-service credit union. We offer an array of products and services, including check-in and savings accounts, auto financing, refinancing, mortgages, and financial literacy. And we can help you with all of your financial needs. Visit our website at eaglefederal.org, call the office at 318-641-3017, or come by our local office and meet our staff. Don't forget to ask how we can help you save up to 2% on your auto refinance. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast. Fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 in East Pineville behind Arby's. It's the perfect time of year to grab everything you need for your big-time fishing partner. Security Sporting Goods at 2220 Memorial Drive in Alexandria has everything you can think of from Abu Garcia, Lewis Duckett, Zebco, and even Zoom. We even have in stock Old Town kayaks with models like Topwater, Sportsman, and even Vapor. No need to shop anywhere else because Security Sporting Goods has it all. Find us on Facebook or you can contact us at 318-445-6246. Security Sporting Goods. We have everything from camo to ammo. We're back to live action. Bottom of the second, Ashton Veed leads off for the Eagles. And that one misses away. Ball one. Good job of Prejean the first couple of innings to strand that runner over at third base. Gave up the double, but uh, pitched around it very well. And there's the first hit of the night for the Eagles. That is Veed that sends that one right back over the second baseman's head. That's going to be a base hit. Giordano comes in to bat now, and uh, big-time hitter for these Eagles is Giordano. Has the one home run on the season. Five RBI go along with that. But uh, when we were out last year, as he swings through that one, when we were out last year, I think he had a couple of home runs uh, in, in those games. So quick snap throw over to first. And we told you Kershaw has that good move over to first. You see it there on one of our camera angles. Trying a Excuse me, a few different things tonight. Here's the delivery from Kershaw once again. That one is popped up over near the 
Eagle dugout and they'll get no help for that one. The Eagles, <laughs> Eagles in the dugout not giving any help at all to Ross Dennison as he was looking to find that ball. You are a sea of the, the pink jerseys and then getting no help at all. Nothing to the count now to Giordano. Takes that one, ball one up high. So we were saying back in the first inning, we're over on YouTube if you're watching it there. Give us a subscribe. We finally made it over 100 subscribers. Here's the delivery, swinging a miss on a high curveball and going down on strikes is Giordano. Prejean is going to find his way into the batter's box. Prejean hitting 256. Andrew Prejean comes in batting 256 on the season. And uh, one thing that we've seen, the batting average is a little lower from a lot of these Eagle hitters than we've seen in the past. You know the coach marks as we talk to him a little bit. They are working on it, working on it. Matter of fact, when we came out here Sunday and were surveying the area, we saw a lot of these Eagle hitters that were out there uh, taking some BP and working on that. Nice curveball inside to Prejean. You see from the camera angle the movement on that curve. That one doesn't curve as much, and that's going to send Prejean down to first base on that, and it'll move Veed over to second base. So that's the third hit by pitch, third eagle batter in uh, two innings, in an inning a third, actually, that's been hit by pitch. And again, the Eagles have two runners on. joking with coach marks earlier that uh it's a cold one to be doing from the outfield we didn't have any of those nice eagles batting practice warm-up tops or anything like that he just laughed and kept going i don't understand it one down here runner out at second is veed prejean over at first following that hit by pitch and that's going to bring ashton broadnecks the right fielder into bat swings at the first pitch offering and it's popped up Catcher for Iowa rolls around and makes just a fantastic catch on that. Good work, Hayden LeBlu. That'll get us back to the top of the Eagles order. And Jackson Ford, center fielder for Menard, reached via the hit by pitch but was stranded at third just an inning ago. So both teams going through the lineups, yet no score in this game. Couple of runners on. That's where you want to be if you're Ford. Ford takes that one outside. Ford hitting just 236 on the season. Swings through that one, evens the count of the ball and a strike. We play in the bottom of the second, two down. Runners at first and second for the Eagles. It's the second inning they've had that. That one taken out or half for strike two, and you can see just painting the outside line. Good work on that camera angle coming in there, Chuck. One ball, two strikes. Flashing in at the runner at second. That is going to be fought off and fouled down the third baseline over near that Iowa dugout. Try to adjust our angle and try to keep the microphone out of the wind as it's it's blowing briskly, to say the least. Not going to let a ball get out of here, though. It's going to keep most of it inside. That one, again, fouled off down that right sideline as you would drive in if you were coming in or walking in right through the gate. We'll do the one-two offering once again. Again, two down here for the Eagles looking to get something going. Ford takes that one outside. Hopefully the rain holds off. We'll be back here to see the Lady Eagles in action on Monday night. That's a big one. And they've got a shot Tuesday to claim the district championship. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on that. That one is going to be lifted into the outfield. Nearing the gap, one run is going to score. Another one coming around. And that's what you want out of your leadoff hitter just to fight pitches off gets a double into the gap just past the uh i guess the the trench that is in the outfield that we see but uh jackson ford with a big rbi double 
That one scored Veed all the way from second. So runners at second and third now. First run of the game is in. And that gets LaRue up. LaRue was out, uh, popped out trying to get the sack bunt down, went right back to Kershaw. Kershaw delivers this one, misses it down low. Two balls, no strikes. There's the delivery. That one is there for the first strike. So Menard strikes first in this one. One nothing on that RBI double by Ford. Here's the delivery. It misses as well to LaRue in 3-1 now the count. Missed inside. It's going to load him up. Base on balls to LaRue, and that'll get Cooper Scott the third, uh, third hole hitting left fielder. He was hit by a pitch his first at bat. So you've got Prejean over at third. Jackson Ford is at second, and LaRue now down at first following that base on balls. one nothing. Eagles take the early lead. Trying to come back with a curveball was Kershaw, and it doesn't look like he had enough to get it get in there as it missed on the front or ha front half of the, the batter's box. Here's the delivery from Kershaw once again. He throws this one in there, and it's driven out to right field. Going down the line, not going to be able to get to it, but it's a foul ball, and that's the time that uh, as the Eagles hitter, you've got to make them pay for it. You get that foul ball that gets in, man, you've got to come back in, and Cooper Scott, you know, is ready to do that. Scott comes into the season hitting 241. He's got 10 RBI. I'd like for him to add to that total right here. He's got an opportunity to put a pretty big dent in that number. One ball, one strike, two down, bases juiced. That one is in there. Curves across just the inside half of the plate. Caught a little bit of the backside of the black, I believe. It had to. One ball, two strikes. Kershaw quickly working. That one is driven right to the second baseman, and he's got it. Going to field it, not necessarily cleanly, but enough to get the out and retire the side. Eagles, a couple of runs, they, or a couple of hits. They pick up a run after two complete. Your Menard Eagles lead it 1-0. We'll be right back after this. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields. Rusty Lowry leads off for Iowa in the top of the third. Eagles push across the run. And Prejean back on the hill dealing. Very impressed with the uh, the tempo that Prejean keeps. You know, we told you there's a difference between guys that pitch and people that are pitchers, and Prejean showing that he is just that. He is a pitcher and taking control. He gets the ball back quickly from Wade, looks in, and they are ready to go. Ball in the strike to Lowry, who hits out of the nine hole. That one in there. Good fastball just exploding in the strike zone for Prejean. Prejean with a couple of Ks on the day. The 1-2 delivery is fouled off 
back there where they tell you not to park, but that's uh, that's by the baseball uh, clubhouse. Not necessarily the clubhouse where the, the guys gather. It's a neat little place in there. They do a lot of cooking out of that area. We'll redo the one-two. Swing and a miss. Strike out number three. Give him 58 on the season to Prejean. And that's what you want to do when you come back from a inning where you pick up a run, especially in a game that seems like runs are going to be at a premium, you want to get back in there. Now, Langley comes up. Langley, clearly the speedster out of this entire park today. He got on base and just flew around the bases with the stolen base and then getting down there on the sacrifice, stranded at third base. This is the leadoff hitter. Two balls, no strikes to Langley. Prejean was down 3-0 on him, battled back to get to a full count before Prejean, before Langley walked in the first. Now the delivery up high, and I can tell you, you're going to see Langley taking on this one again. You get three hole, four hole, they might be cutting, but Langley is not and takes that one up above the, le the letters, and that'll get him back down. Look for now. When you came up, Dartez, square to run, sacrificed him over the last time. But I think if you are that coaching staff from the Jackets, you give him a pitch to get on down to second base. Praise John, peering in over at first. Here's the delivery. Gave him the pitch, and it was strike one, but uh, Langley wasn't going on the pitch. And again, short of Langley, Prejean has been ahead of every batter that he's faced in this one tonight. Prejean comes set, stares in, and there goes Langley off and running. Good throw in from Wade. And he's going to slide in just safe is Langley. And that's that speed we told you about. That's the second stolen base to go along with two walks for Langley. But I'm telling you, Wade made a pretty good throw on that one. A ball and a strike, one down. Not afraid to take off and go get third. Third, a lot of times, you get a good base dealer, he'll tell you third's easier to take than second. That one is lifted up. Seeing if there's room, Wade gives chase. Unable to get there. That goes on the roof of the aforementioned clubhouse there. Beautiful view from the Eagles' nest out where we are in center field. Appreciate those fake, those folks that are listening in. First time you found us, go up and give us a like and a subscribe. Prejean's 0-2 delivery. That one fought off and lifted foul up by the lights before it makes its way over into the woods nearest the 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 tower that's over there, the 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 bell tower out in the Lakes District. I'll do the nothing and two once again. That one is lifted out to center field. Coming up, short's going to drift out and get it and does. And uh, that's that's what you do. Let your shortstop go get that one. Ashton Veed had that, of course, center field. Jackson Ford was coming up. And uh, as as a coach, you got to appreciate when, when you guys are communicating, you heard them talking and, uh, and, and securing the ball and making that. Two down, Langley on the stolen base following the walk. He's out at second base. Lucas Alexander, strikeout victim back in the first of Prejean's. Prejean's got three Ks in the game. Stares back at Langley, now delivers. That one bottom half finds the strike zone, nothing in one. Again, we told you, Prejean getting ahead of hitters. And if you want to have your success, You've got to get ahead of those batters, and Prejean, short of Langley, has done that. Flashing back in is Veed once again. He's going to cause Prejean to step off. Here's the delivery from Prejean. That one. They're wearing out the right side of the field. And, again, we talked in that first inning when we saw several foul balls going down that right side. These hitters are hacking, but it's a, a step or two too late, and that makes that off-speed curveball that Prejean has so effective. Wouldn't be surprised to see that here at nothing and two. 
This is Dartez. And for the second time, Alexander corrects. And Alexander down on strikes. Give Prejean his fourth. Put him at 59 on the season. Uh, and uh, two and a half in the books. One nothing Menard. We'll be back right after this. Eagle Federal Credit Union, located on Camp Beauregard in Pineville, is a full-service credit union. We offer an array of products and services, including checking and savings accounts, auto financing, refinancing, mortgages, and financial literacy. And we can help you with all of your financial needs. Visit our website at eaglefederal.org, call the office at 318-641-3017, or come by our local office and meet our staff. Don't forget to ask how we can help you save up to 2% on your auto refinance. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. It's the perfect time of year to grab everything you need for your big-time fishing partner. Security Sporting Goods at 2220 Memorial Drive in Alexandria has everything you can think of from Abu Garcia, Lewis Duckett, Zebco, and even Zoom. We even have in stock Old Town kayaks with models like Topwater, Sportsman, and even Vapor. No need to shop anywhere else because Security Sporting Goods has it all. Find us on Facebook or you can contact us at 318 445 Bottom of the third, we go from the Eagles' nest. Drake Aldridge will lead off here. That one misses somewhere. Ball one. There's a delivery. Aldridge pounds that one out to center field. But uh, that's one of them right at you balls. Dartez, the center fielder, doesn't move. Gets that back in. One of the hardest balls to catch is that one, that line drive right at you. Dartez never moved, didn't have to. And he's retired on the first pitch. Mike Henry, now we'll stand in there. The delivery from Kershaw, that one is just back foul. Kershaw has allowed a couple of base runners each time, but the Eagles have, have stranded five runners in this one early on. That's why it's just the 1-0 game. Five runners on through two innings. <coughs> that one pushed back, foul, nothing in two to Henry. Kershaw looks like he's settled down a little bit. Delivery to Henry. Misses outside. One ball, two strikes. Big base hit by Jackson Ford earlier. That scored the Eagles run. Prejean, who had sing or Veed, who had singled earlier in the inning, uh, Ford was able to bring him around on that little base hit. Down low, ball two. So after fouling off and fighting off a couple of pitches, Henry has evened the count up. Two balls, two strikes. Kershaw quickly working in this one. That one inside and uh, just turned in. Nearly hit Henry, turned in out of the way. You got to try to move. They don't let you just stand in there anymore. Here's the full count. That one is ripped out to left field. Going to be caught coming up, making a good play in uh, left. Cole Corbello. But right on the screws was Henry with that one. Couple of atom balls for the Eagles in this, uh, this half, the bottom of the third. First one right at the center fielder. That one over at your left fielder. Ashton Veed singled and scored a run in the first. He is up. Couple of outfield fly balls for the Eagles here. Let you know that strike one taken. Kershaw leaving the ball up just a little bit, upper half of the zone. 
That one grounded right back up the middle. Veed's going to have his second hit of the game. Give Ashton Veed singles in consecutive innings. Jacob Giordano, strikeout victim in the second. Good piece of hitting by Veed in this game as he's got a couple of base hits. V, now that gives him 16, so that'll bring his average up. Came into the game hitting 237, did Veed, but uh, is really having some good out bats. That one is ground. Third base has it. On in time over to first. That is LeBlue, Colton LeBlue, with the out from third base. So no runs, just the one hit. No errors, one left on after three complete. Eagles still on top. 1 0. We'll be back. <laughs> The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, but we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about... Back to live action we go here from the Eagle's Nest. Eagles clinging to a 1-0 lead. Prejean back for his fourth inning of work. He's been solid in this one. Quickly as he does that, he gives the one, he gives that base hit up. Second base hit of the day and bobbled out in left and that right, and that's going to get in there for the double. So give him a base hit. I think if it come up and filled it cleanly, that uh, that Dennison doesn't make it down to second base. So we'll give him a base hit and a, a second base on an error. Third inning out of four that you've had some leadoff damage going on, but Prejean has been able to work his way out of it. Looking in from the stretch is Prejean. He faces Kershaw, his counterpart on the mound for Iowa. Back in the second inning, Kershaw flew out to right field. Here's the delivery for Prejean. That one in there for the strike and quickly getting ahead of the hitters again, and that's what you want to do. This uh, Iowa team may be well served to start uh, first ball, fastball hunting in this one as Prejean has been establishing the strike zone early. Here's the delivery. That one misses down low. Evens accounted a ball and a strike. Again, the Eagles with a 1-0 lead. Top of the fourth we go. Prejean's delivery again misses low. Don't forget, we will have Grace Christian and Glenn Mora tomorrow night. That also a 6 p.m. start from out of Grace Christian. So we'll drop back into Class B baseball and get that District 6B matchup. Prejean staring back at second. Now delivers, fires that fastball in there, and that's a ball and two strikes. Look, when Prejean finds that strike zone, he, he just he hammers it. That off-speed out pitch has worked well for him. Two balls and two strikes. That one a swing and a miss. And we tell you, when you get when you get down and strikes to Prejean, you're looking fastball and he throws that nasty to you. And uh, you just, I mean, it's it's difficult. Strikeout number five on the night for Prejean. Here's the delivery. 
And there it is. Gets first ball, fastball in there for a strike to LeBlu. LeBlu had a big double in that second inning. Be well versed to keep keep the ball away from him. Out at second base there is Dennison. And that got him on the backside for LeBlu. So LeBlu hit by the pitch. That'll get runners now at first and second. Cole Corbello. Corbello, the left fielder, comes in. I'd like to see Prejean throw that that fastball down lower half and maybe roll up a double play ground ball here and get himself out of this inning. Top of the fourth we go. Runners at first and second for Iowa. And that is first pitch fastball from Prejean. It has been so effective. Save for the first couple of at-bats from Langley. Nothing on one the count to Corbello. That one misses down low and evens the count of the ball and the strike. Then we told you Monday we will be back out here, weather permitting, for Menard softball as they host the, in the lady endings of Tioga. Here's the delivery from Prejean. That one ripped foul, and, and again, these yellow jacket hitters are behind the pitch, behind that fastball. And at 1-2, that sets up that nifty little off-speed pitch from Prejean. We'll see what he's got in mind here as you're peering in. You're watching it as we do. Prejean delivers, throws that fastball by him. Oh, they're going to call a foul ball just getting a piece of it. A little bit of BGs there, staying alive. Chuck's not here to give you these jokes, so I have to fill in. He is here. He's just producing as we've got the multi-camera angles going tonight. Here's the delivery. That's that off-speed stuff. Staying in there. That's that ground ball that the Eagles needed. On in time to first. Double play ends it. One hit, no runs, one left on. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Eagles, one nothing. We'll be right back. Eagle Federal Credit Union, located on Camp Beauregard in Pineville, is a full-service credit union. We offer an array of products and services, including checking and savings accounts, auto financing, refinancing, mortgages, and financial literacy. And we can help you with all of your financial needs. Visit our website at eaglefederal.org, call the office at 318-641-3017, or come by our local office and meet our staff. Don't forget to ask how we can help you save up to 2% on your auto refinance. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. It's the perfect time of year to grab everything you need for your big-time fishing partner. Security Sporting Goods at 2220 Memorial Drive in Alexandria has everything you can think of from Abu Garcia, Louis Duckett, Zebco, and even Zoom. We even have in stock Old Town kayaks with models like Topwater, Sportsman, and e Prejean, who was the beneficiary of that uh, ground ball double play, leads off here in the bottom of the fourth. Kershaw delivery misses up high ball one. A lot of folks uh, joining us here for Menard Eagle Baseball, and we appreciate that, of course. That one's in there. Evens a count at a ball and a strike. Again, uh, let us know where you're watching from. Leave a comment down there, a like and a like and a follow if you're over on BoxCast and you followed that link. BoxCast is the better view, by all means. They don't compress the video like Facebook does, so follow that link and get on over to BoxCast and watch that. None of these cost you anything. That one is fouled back, a ball and two strikes to Prejean. And if you happen to be watching us over on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second to do that. Doesn't cost you anything again, I tell you. But you'll be alerted any time that we go live. And Prejean looks at a low strike three and uh, looked like that was a little bit, a little bit low. But um, again, I'm 
300 plus feet from from home. So what do you do? But I brought my glasses tonight. Had a trouble doing the LC game the other night. Uh, that's going to bring Ashton Broadnax. Broadnax will stand in there ready to go. Ball one to Broadnax. Prejean, who had been hit by a pitch in the first in his first at bats, a strikeout victim there, and Broadnax now takes that one 1-0. Two balls, no strikes. The, the mad dash to get the lights turned on as night starts to, to steal away the last bit of daylight that we have here on a cloudy afternoon. It starts to make its way in. That strike is in there. Two balls and a strike. Ground ball out to short. Good backhand play. And hustling down and running it out all of the way. And you'll see that highlight later tonight. Did I mention that we've done brought on a, uh, a, a professional to get our highlights for you. If you've not checked out Jacked and a Fool on Twitter, I get you to, to go and do that. Uh, a lot of the highlights and productions he does, not only for Ash, but he did it for a lot of the other players as he and his family do a lot for basketball in the area so uh, and around the state. But uh, I encourage you to, to do that. Go up there and just search for Jacked and a Fool on Twitter. Back to action. We go. That one is fouled out of play. Nothing and one the count. This is back up to Jackson Ford as Broadnax on that ground ball ran it out. Give him the single and that gets Ford in there. He's quickly down 0-2. Misses up and away. Good pitch from Kershaw on one that you want to try to, to coax a swing out of from Ford, but he wasn't doing it. Off and running now. Going to be in there sliding in safely is Broadnax with the stolen base. And uh, it's a high throw, but good aggressive play calling from Coach Marks. Broadnax now getting a lead off of second, and Kershaw stepping off to take a look at things. Two balls, two strikes, one down. Runner at second is Broadnax. Quick snap throw back to him, going to find its way into the in, to the outfield, but quickly coming up is Dartez, and he's going to get that one back in in time. Again, if you're just joining us, you see the pink jersey tops on there. Uh, all have the same name, Bilbo, on there. And I uh, hope that you were around for that ceremony before the game. Wind is starting to pick up. I guess they would call that gusting is what it's doing now. Two balls, two strikes. This one ripped foul down the third baseline and off into the woods. Thankfully, folks, Chuck doesn't have the microphone on tonight. You're you're missing out on a lot of the jokes because he, he's young. He doesn't. He, he's respecting his elder is what he's doing. We'll do the 2-2 two -two once again. Jackson had the RBI single back in the third inning, or correction, the second. This one misses outside, now brings the count full. Good at bat from Ford. Here's the delivery. That one misses outside, and Ford has walked, has uh, has forced a walk and makes his way down to first base. Cohen LaRue will stand in. LaRue had a base on balls back in that second inning. In the first, tried to get down a bunt, popped it up to Kershaw. one nothing Eagles lead this when we play bottom of the fourth that one is popped up first base under lets it drop trying to infield fly was called as runners were at first and second with less than two outs infield fly was called And that's why the infield fly is there, the infield fly roll, because you saw him back off of the ball and let it drop. But infield fly, that keeps you from having a double play out of it. Cooper Scott stands in. He was hit by a pitch in that first inning. 
Got to remember to turn to the side to keep the wind from blowing. Scott rips this one out. Going to be camping under it. And left fielder has made some solid plays out there today uh, on balls that were hit right to it or, or in that direction on the money. After four, Eagles still in, still in the lead in this one, one nothing. We'll be right back. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, but we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jay. First one in there, strike strike one. Prejean stands in, ready to go back to work. That one twisted foul again and behind the batter. Chuck stepping away to tighten up one of the cameras. The wind has been wreaking havoc on it. Nothing and two, the count from Prejean misses up high. No balls, two strikes. We play top five. There's that curveball just misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. Disregard the bobbling of the camera that you see there. That good job of fighting back, and getting that base hit, trying to throw it away, trying to throw him out at first, but uh, sails over the first baseman's head, and a good piece of hitting there by Hayden LeBlue. Hayden LeBlue, expect him to come out for a courtesy runner as he is the catcher for this Jackets team. And again, the leadoff man on for this Jackets team. Have to try to get the number of that young man that came in and is running at first base. Rusty Lowry will stand in. Coming in to run is Tyler Laverne. Tyler Laverne now running at first for the catcher. LeBlue trying to bunt again. A snap throw down to first. Going up and getting that before he gets into the outfield. Good job by Aldridge to climb the ladder on that one. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out here in the in the top of the fifth. Again, looking to bunt, taking that one inside. Prejean looking good tonight with five strikeouts, has uh, scattered a couple of hits and walked around a couple of walks, both to Langley. And Langley is peering in from the on-deck circle. That one has popped up from the bunt. And uh, if you are a part of this scrappy little Jackets team, you got to be able to get the bunt down. As, as we've seen, two, six, seven, eight, nine hole hitters, doesn't matter. They're, they're willing to turn around and lay the bunt down, but you got to get it down. Trying to do it again, that's off of that curveball. You almost want to bust that one up high. Get him to pop that up. That's what happened on the prior play. But you don't expect that Lowry is still squaring around a bunt with two strikes on him. We'll see what happens here. Two balls, two strikes. We'll do it again. Still is squaring around. And uh, that's one of those you just have to, to rear back and get it down the heart of the plate.
Full count offering from Prejean. He delivers, and that one is on the ground for the bunt. Prejean's going to flip over to first, and uh, Aldridge will, will control that, score that one 1-3. One, one down here, and that gets the courtesy runner Laverne out to second base and back to the top of the order, and Landon Langley, who has a couple of walks on the day and a couple of stolen bases. And you got to go right at him here if you are Prejean. I don't know if he's uh, in, in three at-bats now, if he swung the bat maybe once, if not twice, in this at-bat is all that he's done it throughout the game. Just uh, takes a lot of pitches. Took that one right down the pipe for strike one, though, a ball and a strike. Only batter, really, that Prejean has not been able to get ahead of in the count has been Langley. Langley, not a real demonstrative strike zone, though, and uh, most of the pitches have been up high from Prejean. Two balls and a strike. One down, we play top five. Check swing down the line, and that's going to be caught. Caught, and they're looking over now for the double play. Over to second in time. And a big time play out in right field started all of that. That was uh, That's what you want to see. Ashton Broadnack coming out off of a check swing, making a tremendous, tremendous play. And uh, that's the second double play of the night for the Eagles. Move to the bottom of the fifth. Bernard won. Iowa 0 back after this. Eagle Federal Credit Union, located on Camp Beauregard in Pineville, is a full-service credit union. We offer an array of products and services, including checking and savings accounts, auto financing, refinancing, mortgages, and financial literacy. And we can help you with all of your financial needs. Visit our website at eaglefederal.org, call the office at 318-641-3017, or come by our local office and meet our staff. Don't forget to ask how we can help you save up to 2% on your auto refinance. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 in East Pineville behind Arby's. It's the perfect time of year to grab everything you need for your big-time fishing partner. Security Sporting Goods at 2220 Memorial Drive in Alexandria. Back to the Eagles Nest. We go bottom of the fifth. Drake Aldridge leads things off. What a fantastic play by Broadnax there to, to set up that double play. Comes in and gets one from Langley. That it hit, retiring Langley for the first time tonight and then quickly doubling up the runner out at second base. Great presence and uh, wherewithal to get up and throw that. First pitch misses inside, ball one. Kershaw comes right back. Evens the count at a ball, a ball and a strike. That one driven foul down the line. One thing I'll say about these Eagles hitters in comparison to what Iowa's been able to do, the Eagles have been able to pull the baseball tonight. Iowa, the bulk of their stuff has went off opposite field. That one, uh, strike three looking. Tough pitch to take there, but down on strikes. Henry, the designated hitter, comes in. Standing ready to go, and it's it's interesting when we come here, you hear the voice of the PA announcer. And uh, it's it's our own Chuck Perkins who's recorded that. One of the things that we do, you hear our, uh, our announcements over at Grace Christian as well. We record walk-up music and batter introductions, so... If there's an interest, that one is ground back to Kershaw. Fields his position well. That's the third play that Kershaw has been involved with from the mound. Quickly two down for the Eagles in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, senior, number 23, 
Ashton Veed comes into the season to, into the game tonight, batting 237. All he's done is put up a couple of real nice singles and has scored the only run of the night. Misses that one outside, does Kershaw. Here's the Kershaw delivery once again. He misses. 2-0 to Veed. Tries the other side of it, does Kershaw. Equal result, result, he misses the strike zone inner half. Three balls, no strikes, and staying away from the hot-hitting Veed tonight. And that's going to put him down to first goes Veed. Third time on base tonight. Jacob Giordano will come in there, and, and Jacob's due in this one. Uh, wind, I won't say is laid down. It was blustery, though, for a while. And um, Giordano takes that one. Looked like perhaps a little bit of uh, steam coming out from Kershaw as, as he's missing the strike zone a good bit after really mowing through the first couple of hitters of this inning for the Eagles. Really pitched around Veed. And now here we are, ball and a strike to Giordano. Bottom of the fifth, we play from the Eagles' nest. And Giordano stays back on that curveball and drives it promptly in the left. And that continues on what we talked about. These Eagles hitter, hitters are pulling the ball tonight. Uh, and Iowa has been unable to get around on that Prejean fastball. Speaking of Prejean, he's going to stand in there. Was hit by a pitch back in the third and uh, struck out back in the fourth. Or correction, in the second is when he had his hit by pitch. Prejean delivers this one opposite field. Going to be fielded there over to first in time. Get a couple of runners, but nothing doing for the Eagles. Bottom of the fifth. We've played five. Menard hanging on one nothing. back after this. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau. Big thanks to Jason Hawk, our local Farm Bureau agent and proud sponsor of 446 Sports. So I've got a story to tell you as that one misses up high. And I, I'm, I'm going, to, going to tell you the success story of the way this ends out. But we've been with another insurance carrier for a number of number of years and got my son on there as that one misses all the, so son's got he's under 21 got the big four-wheel drive truck all of those things called jason switched his insurance over saved 210 dollars a month yes that means he was paying a lot as that one is in there for a strike two balls a strike but uh saved over 210 so over 200 dollars a month he saved so needless to say Give Jason Hawk a call just for a tune-up there. Ground out to short. Coming up, throw is off the line. Aldridge coming up, trying to make a swipe tag there, but the throw off the line from Veed. So give him a call and uh, talk to Hawk. And, uh, you know, see if he can save you a little bit of money. If he doesn't, it costs you about a five-minute phone call. But if he does, tell him that you appreciate him bringing you 446 Sports. 
Two hundred and ten dollars, I said, Chuck. You guys are. You don't understand, Chuck. Y'all can't hear Chuck tonight. So, uh, of course, this is the first Eagles game we've done this year. So they don't know what they're missing, do they? One ball, no strikes. Leadoff hitter on once again. That one is swung through on the bunt and missed. And that is Alexander that stands in ready to go. Tightened up the pitcher cam there just a little bit, squaring around to bunt. That's going to be fielded by Prejean. Bobs around, gets the tag over there at first. So very good presence of mind and awareness from Prejean. And, and we've seen both pitchers tonight handle themselves uh, more than adequately off the hill when they've had to field their position. One down runner back at second base. That is the courtesy runner. No correction, that's Dartez, the center fielder. You won't get a courtesy runner for him. He's got some wheels. That big curveball misses, uh, I guess, top left. Boy, that catcher cam, you can see what's going I mean, the pitcher cam, you can see what's going on inside the concession stand here. What a great angle it is. That one grounded out. Veed's got it. It short looks the runner back. Throws over to Aldridge and uh, played that one perfectly. Looked the runner back, and Dartez had nowhere to go. Quick fires over. Speaking of that, again, a big thanks out to those guys we talked about that cook out there and prepare for this concession stand. Brought us cheeseburgers and sausage and 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 french fries and and they asked me to make a mistake said you want ham cheeseburgers or sausage dogs i said yes <laughs> misses outside ball one two down we play top of the sixth again i am doug Gann, 446 sports alongside chuck perkins and jack yonker bringing you high school baseball praise John delivers this one and it twists foul and it continues continues that those iowa batters are unable to get around on that fastball of Prejean. Prejean four and two on the season. This is start number eight for the young man. And this is a very solid, solid team. That fouled off. That one gets off the leg of Kershaw. Yellow Jackets team 15 and eight on the season, ranked number five in the power ratings in 3A. Eagles at 11 and 11, this would be a big boost for them to hang on and get this one. Not only in the power rankings, but in momentum. Misses up high, gonna get to the backstop, and that's gonna send Dartez over to third base. Third time in six innings that the Jackets have had a runner over at third base. Two balls, two strikes, the count from Prejean. Prejean back to the windup, now stares in. Gets the sign and delivers. Fouled off once again off the hands. Getting a good look at that uh, pitcher, catcher, and batter contest that goes on here. Prejean steering in, looks over the top of that glove, delivers this one. And it uh, dropped third strike. Give him the strikeout, drop third, and score that 2-3 on the putout. Strikeout number six for Prejean through six. Five and a half in the book. Six innings have went by for the Jackets. But uh, we'll go to the bottom of the six. The Eagles. Eagles lead this one one to nothing. We'll be right back. <laughs> The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. 
Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria LA. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. Broadnecks will stand in there. He's ready to go. Bottom of the sixth. Let me turn again. Swings through that one. Come up and knocked, uh, knocked the mask off of the umpire, and he stands in there, shakes it off, and been pretty solid back there those two have on the on the field it's been uh, not much controversy they've been able to appreciate that graphic popping up there not much uh in the way of things to concern themselves about from opposing coaches it's been a very well played game and a very well officiated game in this one nothing in one the count to broadnax waiting in the wings ford and larue at the top of the eagle lineup that curveball misses inside ball and a strike Kershaw has gone the distance as well here's the delivery that one is ground out to short going to be handled there easily quickly getting down the line and that's going to be thrown away score that an E6 but I believe that Broadnex might have beat that out anyway so uh and, and again my scoring of this if you're scoring at home has absolutely nothing to do with nothing but i give him an infield single on that as uh, it doesn't look like the throw was going to have him great camera work on getting back over to first base for that jackson ford now will stand in ford had that rbi single way back in the second eagles would like to add a couple of insurance runs here snap throw over to first what a battle this has been between between Kershaw, Jacob Kershaw, and Andrew Prejean. Missing outside, thinking about the bunt was Ford takes that ball outside. Ball and no strikes. Nobody down here. First man on reaches by the infield single does Broadnax. That bunt is laid down beautifully. Still trouble over there. And and going to be safe over at first base. Beating that out was Jackson Ford. And so this Iowa team has uh, has had a couple of struggles on the last two ground balls that have come their way. But credit the work of Broadnax and Ford for hustling throughout, and that's what you want to see. Cohen LaRue, the second baseman for the Eagles, stands in. And you know that Menard wants to plate a couple in this inning. Squaring around, thinking about the bunt again. And uh, Coach Jordan Marks getting ready to play a little small ball in this one. Talked to him throughout the season, and he said he wanted to work on that, being able to get his guys fundamentally caught. And that was chunked into the outfield, not going to go anywhere. The inside move was uh, being employed by Kershaw there. But he throws it to the offside of Broadnecks and where the second baseman couldn't get to it. And that caused it to go on into the outfield. Short now flashing, squaring around but not finding the strike zone. So a great job of LaRue pulling that one back, and he's got 2-0. So the best thing out of this is you walk LaRue and you got the bases loaded. You still have your runners moved over. Kershaw peering in, comes back. And a lot of that is to see if that bunt sign is still on. He turns around and saw that uh, that LaRue, but don't believe that Coach Marks has taken that bunt sign off. Squaring around quickly, lays that one down. Back to Kershaw. He's trying to get it to third, and that's going to be a great job. We told you that's the fourth put out by Kershaw from the mound as he catches that bunt right back to the pitcher, and that's what they tell you. Whatever you do, don't bunt it right back to the pitcher. Cooper Scott stands in there. Cooper Scott will stand in, so unable to get the unable to get the bunt down, and that's the worst of it. And now Kershaw getting a little bit of momentum from that play. Stands in and delivers this one, and that one is lifted. Left field is going to be camping under it once again. 
makes that. So you get runners at first and second. You fail to get the bant, the bunt down. That would have probably scored the run, and that will come back to drive Coach Marks as crazy as anything will. You know, you, you the game inside the game, if you get that bunt down, probably have it on the sack fly right there. We've got runners at first and second, two down. And uh, Iowa looking to keep it just a one-run game. Aldridge stands in, ready to go. Takes the first one down low. Drake Aldridge. First base cleanup hitter for this Eagle team. Fouls that one off back and towards the trees back behind the press box. One ball, one strike. Here's the delivery from Kershaw. And that one off to second base. And, uh, boy, what a getting out of that one. Kershaw, Jacob Kershaw does a little bit of his own. Andrew Prejean and wiggles out of a mess there. We go to the top of the seventh. The Eagles can hold it right here. Then uh, they'll get out of here with a shutout victory. Still three outs, three hard outs to go. We'll be back right after this. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. Back to the Eagles' nest and, nest and close the book on Andrew Prejean. He goes six innings, gives up just three hits, does not allow a run. Ashton Veed will come on trying to finish this one off for Prejean. Veed is one and two on the season on the hill. Strong arm, and they wanted that fastball to go against this lineup that has not done well with Prejean's fastball throughout. Ball, no strikes as we're ready to go top of the seventh. Here's the delivery from Veed. Finds the outer half for strike one. Leading off for this Jackets team is the number nine hitter, Rusty Lauer. Correction, number nine is Colton LeBlue. He had a double and a hit by pitch in this game, and now he's down a ball and two strikes. So, Veed, after missing with the first one, Veed's had himself a pretty good day. Had a couple of singles there um, and, and, and looked good and then got on by the hit by pitch, or walk, actually. Veed delivers the payoff pitch, swing and a miss, and got him nice little off-speed curveball from Veed for the strikeout. And you see Veed there as he's walking around getting a little bit of congratulations. That's exactly what you wanted to see. Cole Corbello will stand in there. He is the left fielder. He's been very active out in left field tonight. Veed rocks, fires, and delivers. Oh, that curveball, you can see it on your screen there, how it just comes right back in there. Beautiful camera angle on it. No balls, one strike, one down, top seven. Veed rocks, fires, and delivers. Misses that one on the outer half. Wade doing a good job of framing it up, trying to trying to get a call. 
You see the senior banners adorning the concession stand right behind home plate. Here's the delivery from Veed. That one is lifted. Second base, camping out under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And that's what you want to come out and do, just uh, not give any sort of momentum to this Jackets team, who, again, we told you, ranked number five in 3A. 15 and 8 on the season. Menard 11 and 11 looking to go above 500. This will bring Hayden LeBlue in. He's got a hit on the night. Nice curveball from Veed. So just when you think you're getting peppered with that fastball, he starts you off with the old Uncle Charlie. Showing my age. Calling it that. Youngsters might not. Jack doesn't know what the old Uncle Charlie was, right? He's <laughs> raising his hands. I don't know. Ball and a strike, two down, top of the seventh. A gem pitched by both pitchers. Prejean, though, with the 1-0 lead. V trying to finish it off. Here's the delivery. That one is ground up and fouled off of the batter. Ball and strike, two down here. That run all the way back in the second inning. It was uh, Ashton V that scored. Big night for V tonight. Here's the delivery. That one misses outside. Veed looking to, to be our Louisiana Day Trips and Tours player of the game tonight. Bet Chuck doesn't have a graphic for that one. Two balls and a strike to delivery. That one is ground back up the middle. That's going to do it. Ball game. Your Menard Eagles win this when they move to 12 and 11. And uh, you see the yellow jerseys, and we'll tell you about that one more time. This game was played and dedicated to Miss Debbie Bilbo. She, uh, the, the mother of, of one of the players on this team, Nate Bilbo, number 22. And uh, she starts her, her, her treatments for cancer. And that, that family came out and threw the first pitch in this game. So we want to, of course, explain again the pink uniforms and jersey tops that you see, but give our thoughts and prayers as well to the Bilbo family. Uh, been a great one here from Menard tonight. Prejean with six strikeouts. He's going to pick up the win. He goes six strong innings. Strikeout total goes to 64 for Prejean. Does not give up a run. Again, that run way back in the first inning or the second inning, Ashton Veed got on base. One of his two hits on the day made its way all the way around, had a couple outs before Jackson Ford came in and had that RBI base hit. So Ford, the only RBI of the night, and Ashton Veed scored the game's lone run, picks up his first save of the year by making short order of the Iowa Iowa Yellow Jackets in this one. If you're just a baseball fan and uh, like good baseball, hit the like and follow button on there. Uh, whether you are on Facebook or YouTube or over at BoxCast, just hit the subscribe button and you'll know any time that we go live. Our schedule for the next few days, we will be at Grace Christian tomorrow night as that's a big key 6B district matchup tomorrow night between Grace Christian and Glenn Mora looked to see Landon Ami. He had two grand slams in that game. You heard me. Two grand slams in that game Tuesday night to uh, propel Grace in that one. That's what will be tomorrow night. Then Monday, weather permitting, and that's such a nasty word, weather permitting. The first couple of days of these last few weeks have been garbage, and I'll tell you that. Uh, we will see the Menard Lady Eagles welcome in the Lady Indians, who are as hot as anybody in softball. The Tioga Lady Indians will make their way in before we finish up our four-game stretch over at Grace Christian, we believe, on Tuesday night. But the Lady Eagles will turn around and play for a district championship. They go out of district with that game on Monday, out of classification on Monday. But uh, settle back in on Tuesday night. Coach Scully and that group have them ready to go. That's going to wrap it up for us here at the Eagles Nest. Eagles, hold on. They uh, quick, quick game. And I tell our, our young intern, it's the first time he's done a baseball game with us, don't get spoiled on this one. Judge uh, the length of these games by the one you'll see tomorrow night. That one, uh, the human rain delay when you get onto that, uh, when you get onto that field. Uh, but it's been a pleasure. It's an honor. And one thing that I can tell you, 
wait for the highlights because uh, we got our man now. The easy part's done. He's got to get to work and make us one of them highlight reels, and I expect that you're going to enjoy that one. So for my producer, Chuck Perkins, uh, as always, we couldn't do anything without him. New man with us, Noah uh, Jack Yonker. Sorry about that. It's from years of calling in basketball. Jack Yonker, who uh, at least they get his last name right, so that's a, that's a plus. Uh, I am Doug Gann. God bless you all, and good night. We'll see you next time.